I'm really confused right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fantex Glacier 1 360mm AIO. This is the white version, as you can see right here. It says white version. And bonus review is going to be the Amp Power Supply White Edition from Fantex. We're going to be installing this AIO in the Magnum Cube Neo 2, which is over there. If you haven't watched this video, I'll leave a link up here. You can watch it after. We reviewed that case from Magnum Gear, which is powered by Fantex. But today we're going to be installing this AIO into that build. We're building everything right now. As you can see, it's a mess behind me there's literally crap everywhere my hair is a mess i'm sweaty but i figured why not make a whole video out of it as we take a look at this aio i'm really really excited this design is super super cool obviously it's been reviewed by a lot of youtubers before but i want to take my look at it and uh, give you my opinion about it so without further ado this is going to be like an or unorthodox kind of unboxing uh we're just gonna this is gonna be an unorthodox kind of uh review whoa what happened what's happening to my camera as I was saying before my camera freaked out, this is gonna be an ortho unorthodox review or unboxing. We're gonna be opening up this uh, AIO and installing it as we go. Uh, we're just gonna split some in the box. What do you get with this guy? Uh, I'm pretty sure this AIO is priced around $140, I wanna say, maybe 150. Uh, I'll leave the link down below in the description to check it out if you guys wanna check it out. Open the power supply too. This is a white power supply, which is very interesting. I haven't never, well, never mind. I've worked with a power supply that's white. Let's check out this power supply first. Ooh, this is nice. I don't know how much this power supply costs, but I'm gonna say it's expensive. Uh, get some zip ties, the manual, uh, the power cable, and all your cables in a bag. That is fancy. I'm not gonna lie. And the power supply, which is also in a bag itself. Okay, that is some fancy crap right here. All right, so we got the power supply right here. This is a really nice power supply, a thousand watt uh, gold plus. Uh, honestly, it looks so, so clean. It has a hybrid button. I don't really know what that means. Maybe like a s power saving mode. I don't know what that means, but this is the power supply. Let's open up the AIO real quick. All right, the AIO, let's see what we got in here. Just like every other AIO box, very similar experience. All right. Man, this is beefy. I didn't even realize it's this big. This is probably one of the lowest qualities video that I've made, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so we got this uh, in the box. You get the cover for the actual cooler. This is the RGB part. This is where RGB uh, comes in. It's white, which comes out of the box with an LGA 1700 mount and an AMD, obviously. Uh, not 7,000, I think just 5,000. This is brand new. Uh, cable for Glacier 1, this is the connection to the fans. You get three fans, uh, obviously this is a 360. Get these white fans from Fantex that are actually really, really nice. I don't know where the RGB is. I don't see any RGB. Three 120 millimeter fans that comes included. Uh, that is super nice. Cable seems really short, which is concerning. I guess we'll figure that out as, in, as we install it, right? And we get, what are these? Whoa. Oh, I guess this is like more RGB. Honestly, don't even know what this is, but it looks like an RGB uh, light around here. I'm really confused right now, but this is like an RGB cover that goes on top of the fan, I think, to make it fully white. Not 100% sure. We're gonna figure it out as we go, guys. It's gonna be all right. You get two more, which is good. So you get three, obviously, for the fans. And you get the AIO itself, which I'm hoping is all white. Oh yeah, baby all white perfect perfect it comes with pre-installed thermal paste which is super super cool and uh, that is it in the box so next we're going to be installing this uh, overall design wise super super rad looking yeah yo i'm really excited to install this it looks super clean i'd love when the whole thing is white like or black whatever the color you choose but yeah without further ado let's clean this up and install this in my pc all right guys we just installed okay guys we just installed the power supply it honestly looks really really cool in this case it's vertical right here we're gonna wire them through the holes over here and we're gonna install the motherboard then we're gonna put the aio in here's something that's really cool about this aio as i'm installing things but you can daisy chain each fan and each light over here these covers are just rgb lights these are the Halo or Helios or whatever uh, model they're called. But so you can daisy chain each fan and then just have one connection coming in for power and for lights coming in from one fan and it will carry on for all of them, which is super, super cool. As I'm installing all this, I'm figuring it out. Now that we're done with this, we're going to actually put it in the case and install it on the top right here. Now that we mounted the AIO, 
Let's put the motherboard in. For the install, since I'm doing a Ryzen or AM4 uh, bracket over here, you want to use the Ryzen brackets and they come with these spacers. Use these because this is how to get the best contact with the CPU. You want to install this into your motherboard bracket like this. Spacer goes on the motherboard and this installs right here. It's like that. We want to use these thumb screws. It's looking good. Now we just have to put the ARGB cover on and that's it. All right, guys, the AIO is in. We got to put the GPU in and then we'll be good to go. All right, boys, we just booted up the PC. It's all working and the AIO is looking mighty fine. Look at that. Okay, guys, it's the next day and we've installed everything. The PC is running. It's looking really sick, super, super clean, especially in this infinity mirror, uh, you know, front and then the infinity mirror on the AIO right there. It's super, super nice. Here's a couple things I want to touch base on. First of all, it's super quiet. These fans, you can barely hear them. The machine is on fully right now. There's a microphone right here. There's nine fans in this PC, plus the three at the top for the AIO. And I can't hear them like in my ears here. So I can't imagine you guys will be able to hear them. But uh, so that's one thing I want to touch on. It's really quiet. Design wise, the look, the fans are super, super clean. I like that they included this cover that has RGB that goes on the fan instead of the RGB in the fan itself. Uh, as we mentioned and then one thing that I really really like is how you can daisy chain the power and the ARGB to the fans so you don't have to have three cables coming down you just connect all of them at the top have one cable coming down for power one cable coming down for ARGB so those two features by themselves like a massive W uh, it's really hard to find uh, fans that are good and uh, they can connect and daisy chain to each other save you some headache when it comes to uh, when it comes to cable management. So that is it overall. So that is it overall. Now I'm gonna actually put the PC right there. I'm gonna do some testing, some benchmark testing. I just wanna see what the temperature stays at max, just to give you guys an idea how good it will cool my CPU. And my CPU is a 5900X 12 core CPU. Runs pretty hot. My previous AIO, which was a 360 from Be Quiet, was like maxing out around 75, 78, 80, and sometimes depending on the load. So uh, I'm gonna put this over there, do some testing, and I'll be back here in a split second. Be right back. All right, guys, so we have the PC right there plugged. I just tested everything. The temperatures were incredibly impressive, honestly. On idling, the CPU, the 5900X 12 core CPU, uh, was running at mid 30s in idle. I haven't been able to achieve that with air cooler or liquid cooler before. So that's very impressive for it to stay in the 30s the whole time. Like most of the time when I was trying other coolers, it was low 40s, mid 40s, sometimes 50s and idle, right? So I was just opening other apps and just looking around and it was staying mid 30s, which is incredible. And then the most impressive thing is I ran some Cinebench tests. I didn't do any gaming tests. I just wanted to see under, you know, load all cores, 12 cores running. The temperatures would not cross 70 celsius it were, they were staying around 66 65 68 at the maximum that i was able to see them i ran it for around 10 minutes and the temperature would not cross 70 which is insane all right like that is really really good for a 12 core cpu but this could mean two things the new airflow that i have in this case is really good and that's why it's improving the temperatures or this all-in-one cpu cooler is really really good i'm leaning towards the cpu cooler the block itself is really really big um Maybe the thermal paste that came pre-applied to it is better than the one I was using before, but overall, I'm really impressed with how good it performed and uh, highly recommend it. I, I really like the way it looks. Obviously, I tested it only on a 12 core CPU, which is like not, you know, conclusive, but this was my case and I wanted to share with you guys this. If this benefited you at all, I'd appreciate it if you support the channel. We're growing into the PC world on YouTube. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it if you're interested in my content. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the CPU cooler, but this was it for the Fantex 360 Infinity Mirror uh, cooler. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.